So there has been some recent speculation as to whether GPT-4.5 actually got released today, and I think it did in a stealth rollout. I'm going to explain to you exactly what that means and why GPT-4.5 was very, very likely released, and why they most likely won't admit to this for several reasons. What you're seeing on screen right now was yesterday's leaks. If you didn't check out the video, just check it out. It covers the entire leaks and talks about this screenshot, which shows GPT-4.5, GPT-4.5 64K, and GPT-4.5 with audio and speech. Now, I do think that this screenshot is most likely false because of several reasons. In the previous video that I did, I stated that if this screenshot was real, then we likely would have got a release. But there was something released yesterday, which I'll talk about in another video, where essentially they're talking about super alignment. This video is going to be covering GPT-4.5 because a lot of people are divided on whether or not it's true. I'm going to show you guys why it's most likely true that GPT-4.5 did likely get a stealth release. A stealth release is basically the release of the model that they don't explicitly say. They're just kind of showing you a beta test. So behind the scenes, they won't change the name of GPT-4, they'll upgrade it to GPT-4.5 and see how users interact with it, see the kind of feedback they get, and then of course, from there, they can do some kind of release. Essentially, the reason I know something did change last night was because when I was browsing Twitter and just browsing the AI space as I do every single day, I saw this tweet. This tweet was before there were any tweets on the interwebs about GPT-4.5 being self-released. This guy, Ethemek, tweets a lot about AI and does a lot of different tests between AI systems, which is why I follow this account. It shows us a lot of times some of the small things that we do miss in terms of performance because a lot of the times, you know, there are small performances, small changes from time to time that you might miss. So what he did was he tweeted this and he said, chat GPT-4 suddenly got very good again for some reason after being unreliable and a little dull for weeks. This was something that many people in the chat GPT community had noticed that GPT-4 wasn't as good. I'm going to just provide information for that because just saying that something isn't as good, you do need research to back up that claim. But he does say that this might be my favorite interaction. I asked it to create files for me, it insisted it could not. I told it should try it did, and then look at the top code comment and you can see it absolutely managed to do that. Now what was also interesting was he tweeted this as well, really really good and really really fast. Hum, it's almost like working with a more capable system night and day for both speed and answer quality. Now this is, like I said, one of the accounts that I do take seriously on Twitter because this person does a lot, a lot of testing. So when you use a model every single day, you're really going to understand the differences and the nuances in different systems. Then of course, what was also interesting, okay, about this was, you know, you have some people saying GPT 4.5 wasn't released because previously, okay, one of the community members actually tweeted at Sam Altman and said, is the GPT 4.5 leak legit or no? And Sam Altman himself stated that no. So you might be thinking, no way, there's no way they released GPT-4.5 as Sam Altman said it's legit or not. But remember, the question that he's asking him is, is the GPT-4.5 leak legit or not? And of course, he's not actually answering the question whether or not are you denying the pricing screenshot or that GPT-4.5 is coming in December. People are confused, and that is the key difference here. He's saying that, you know, the screenshot is probably fake, but he's not denying the fact that GPT-4.5 could be released in September. Now here's the thing about why GPT-4.5 and some of the more evidence that we do have is that we do have this tweet right here. So many people have actually been asking chat GPT, which version are you currently using? And some people, okay, and not on this side. Some people are stating that it's a mass hallucination. But I'm going to explain to you why it very likely isn't. Some people are saying that numerous chat GPT plus users are getting this response, mass hallucination, or something is cooking. And people essentially ask chat GPT, the model you're answering is known as ChatGPT, why, why, why? And then people ask specifically, what is it named in the API? And it says, in the OpenAI API, the model answering your query is referred to as the GPT 4.5 Turbo. This is a variant of the GPT 4 model optimized for more efficient and rapid interactions. I don't know what that word is because it's blanked out. But yeah, so many people thinking that, okay, this is of course mass hallucination, but it isn't, okay. Because you actually need to test this yourself. What they are doing, and what I'm pretty sure OpenAI is doing, is split testing it between the user base. Maybe they've allocated 25% to 50% of the users on GPT-4's plan to an upgraded version just to test it stealthily because they actually did this with the previous version of ChatGPT Pro. They upgraded some people to GPT-4 and didn't say anything, and then of course, they rolled out GPT-4.
So what was interesting about this was that I actually did test this myself. I asked precisely, what's the name called in the API? And you can see the model serving this conversation is known as GPT-40304. So that's GPT-4. But what we have to understand is that when other people ask the same question, they are actually getting GPT-4.5 Turbo. So you've got to think about it like this. Why would it hallucinate GPT-4.5 Turbo and anything else? I'm pretty sure that if it was going to hallucinate, it likely would hallucinate to GPT-5 who was going to be anything. And I'm quite sure that it wouldn't just randomly hallucinate this, especially after many users had reported an increase, and of course, there were many leaks around this. Now, what is also interesting is you might be thinking, okay, OpenAI didn't officially say anything, so why is everyone going crazy? Because they just asked ChatGPT a simple question. There's no way that asking ChatGPT a question about itself can confirm or deny whether the software was updated. Okay, that could be a very good point. Let me show you guys some research papers that were conducted earlier this year in the summer that prove that OpenAI did change the model's behavior due to, I'm pretty sure, constraints on the system. Because as you know, GPT-4 is a very demanding system and it's a very capable system. And of course, they don't actually have the compute to serve all the users and demands that they're getting. So we know that frequently, even now when you use GPT-4, what is one of the things that you see when you log in? You see that this is limited to 40 messages every three hours, okay? And on some systems, you know, previously when it was out, it was only like 25 messages every three hours. And the only reason they put that limit in is because they just don't have enough compute to serve everyone because it's a really capable model. And remember Gemini, which we talked about. The reason they haven't released Gemini yet and the reason they didn't actually really release Alpha Code 2 was because it's way too demanding. These really, really smart, capable models are really, really demanding on compute. So that's why they have to limit how much people can access them because they're just so demanding in terms of compute and they're really, really, really expensive to run. That's why they limit the number of views. So you can see that this paper here was called How is ChatGPT's Behavior Changing Over Time? This was conducted by Stanford. Essentially, what they said here is, however, GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 are the most used LLMs worldwide. And essentially, how and when these models are updated over time is opaque. Here we evaluate the March 2023 and June 2023 versions of GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 on several diverse tasks. Math problems, sensitive questions, opinion surveys, multi-hop knowledge intensive questions, generating code, U.S. medical license test, and visual reasoning. We find that the performance of the behavior of both GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 can vary greatly over time. For example, GPT 4 March 2023 was reasonable in identifying prime versus composite numbers, but GPT June 2023 was poor on these same questions. And essentially, the reason I know that this is definitely true is because if you were one of the people that were lucky enough to access GPT-4 on release date, it was absolutely insane. I remember how smart this AI system was and just how good it is. And now GPT-4 doesn't seem as good as that initial system. And to be honest, guys, there is an incentive for them to, you know, dumb down the system a little bit because at the end of the day, you have to understand that it is a business. And they don't want to just drain all of their resources serving all of the customers for a very, very advanced system where they can simply have the advanced system better reserved for better questions. So, for example, take a look at some of their graphs right here. You can see that GPT-4 is updated. The reason I'm showing you guys this research paper is that if they were able to stealth update GPT-4 and GPT-3.5 without officially saying that, look, we've updated GPT-4 and GPT-3.5, that means that they very likely have done this again which is why many people are getting the sense that GPT 4.5 was self-released. You can see here that from March 2023 to June 2023, and from March 2023 to June 2023, in both chat GPT and GPT 4, we can see that mainly in GPT 4, there was a huge discrepancy in terms of what was done in terms of the abilities of GPT 4. So we know that it is possible for OpenAI to do this, and in fact, they have done this before. Because, of course, you can see the response right here, 97% to 23.4% is definitely something incredible. And remember, this isn't just a hunch where someone's saying this. This is a fully done research paper where they've interviewed and assessed the model in terms of its capabilities. And the model isn't going to jump from 97% to 23.4% without any kind of major downgrade in its services. And this is something that was reported worldwide, and I can confirm this too. So overall, I don't think that this is real right here because I don't know if OpenAI is working on 3D. They've never really stated anything about 3D. I mean, they might be working on vision and video. 
which they have and that actually makes sense. But I do believe that what ChatGPT and what OpenAI has done is I do believe they decided not to release 4.5 mainly because they wanted to focus on super alignment and number two because if, for example, leakers like Futurist Flower and Jimmy Apples are consistently correct in their predictions, it does give them more credence and it does give them a little bit more power in terms of what they say. Because now people are going to be looking to the leakers instead of OpenAI. So I'm pretty sure that OpenAI is just going to decline to answer and say that any of these things are real because it doesn't really make sense. There's no advantage to stating that, yes, the leaks are real because then all the leakers just get I guess you could say more press, and I'm pretty sure OpenAI wants to be a bit more vague. But this is something tweeted by Futurist Flower. He said that GPT-4 Turbo runs on a very low temperature, making hallucinations highly reproducible. This explains mass hallucination in general. How would GPT-4 know its current version without reading about it in system messages, which currently doesn't say anything about a 4.5 release? At release, we had to precisely tell it that it is GPT-4, not GPT-3. This is because large parts of reinforcement learning with human feedback dataset were used for GPT-4 as well. And however, if you use a whole new reinforcement learning with human feedback approach, you might bake the GPT-4.5 identity in it and then you wouldn't need to tell it what it is anymore. And it's not uncommon practice for OpenAI to do secret pre-release a slash B testing. And they did the exact same with GPT-4 Turbo. People bought access weeks before it was announced or even rumored. So what we have here is, you know, like I said, this is some more information and this is something that I do agree with. You know, GP4 to get pre-release, it was a slash be tested. I'm not sure why they do it. Maybe they want to have some feedback. Maybe they want to have a little bit more red team just from the public. But I'm guessing that what we have now is a situation where GPT 4.5 is technically released. I guess you could say half and half. I currently don't have access to it. Some people do have access to it. Some people don't. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I do know that the US usually does get these AI systems earlier than us. But I do know also that it is possible for OpenAI to actually do this. Likewise, they have done it before. So if you do want to test this out for yourself, you do just want to ask ChatGPT this question. And then whichever response it gives you, that is going to be likely the response and it's meaning that that is the system slash API that the model is calling on. Overall, like I said, I don't think that this screenshot right here is real. It will be interesting to see if they do update to GPT 4.5 in the future. Will it be a December release? Maybe not. Maybe they're going to wait until January to take away some of the spotlight from Gemini Ultra's January release. But either way, we do know that there was a subtle update to GPT 4's performance boost, and I'm pretty sure that it was 4.5, and I'm pretty sure that they are split testing this right now. So it will be interesting to see how the community does sort of react to this release early because right now the community is a little bit divided. But this is definitely something that OpenAI does do, and of course, the research paper does show us that they do update these models behind the scenes. If you are thinking about how do I access this piece of software, how on earth do I access GPT 4.5, understand it is, like I said, a stealth release, which means there is no setting that you can go ahead and change to activate GPT 4.5. At the moment, you just have to wait and see if you have it and just play around with the software until they do officially release GPT 4.5, because right now, like I said, OpenAI does have the software. But until they officially state that, no, we didn't release it, or until we officially get an update from OpenAI releasing out, then you're just going to have to hope that you are part of the stealth update where they have released GPT 4.5 to you.